Hello and welcome to our new session reading the story review from Saturday and this is part 3 the school's vision um, by the uh, by the end of this uh, session you should be able to Okay, so we have agreed that we are going to read two pages on your own and I found these uh, helpful um, uh, words to show you the meanings of. And here we have the first word is calligraphy, which means decorative handwriting. You have here, this is a type of calligraphy as you can see in the picture. And this is the fountain pen, which is used sometimes in calligraphy. On the same page, 192 blossoms of cossage, a bouquet of uh, a bouquet of flowers worn by women to weddings and funerals, as you can see on the picture. Blossoms of cossage. Violets are purple flowers. These are African violets. The the uh, the flowers that are mentioned in the page same page we're going to find this word rabbi which means a person appointed as a Jewish religious leader or a Jewish teacher on page uh, now we're going to start uh, reading together and we're going to cover two pages because this is the utmost that we can do and then you're going to read two other pages on your own so let's start After choosing a nib, Tilly said, Okay, of, of course, if you have read the previous two pages, you're going to know who is Tilly. Tilly is someone who, uh, a neighbor for, of Noah's grandparents. She was helping them in the wedding arrangements. Tilly said, I hope in the future, Noah, that you will use a ballpoint pen only when you have to press hard to make multiple carbons. So Tilly suggested that he, he doesn't use ballpoint pens at all, okay, and he should use a pen only, which is the fountain pen, and because she doesn't like or she disguises the, uh, this, uh, the um, she doesn't respect, sorry, the ballpoint pens, and she thinks that they are, uh, they are useful only to press hard. So what is the meaning of multiple means many? many copies carbon means copies and here as you can see in this picture this is a carbon um, paper it was used before the xerox uh, copying machines were popular people used to make copies of something that they write by using these papers they put one one white paper and then one blue paper and then another one white paper and then they start writing by pressing hard uh, so that it's copied on the other on one white paper so that it's copied what they write is copied on the other white paper I couldn't promise that there were times to in school when a person had to do things fast cheap and without character of course she's saying don't use ballpoint pens uh, because they are uh, they are cheap, they are only for pressing hard, they don't have character. But he wasn't convinced that he should listen to her and her advice. Tilly said, there are pens that come with ink. Now she suggests the ink pens. And a um, so cartridge means a container. So she's saying you have to buy a pen with ink. Um, Noah. Let's just do here. Noah, but I will have nothing to do with them. So, when we were back at her condo, Tilly taught me how to fill a pen, or as she said, how to properly fill a pen. Okay, one, these are the steps to fill a pen. Of course, these people are very old and 
they have a different uh, way of thinking other than Noah who is a teenager and who is using a computer to write emails and write the letters and he is different from them okay one turn the filling plunger uh, counterclockwise as far as it will go two dip the nib completely into the ink three sorry three turn the filling plunger clockwise until it stops four hold the nib above the ink bottle and turn the plunger counterclockwise again until three drops of ink fall back into the bottle five turn the plunger clockwise to stop the drops six wipe the excess ink completely from pen and nib okay so let's look at these things of course it's very easy to do this it doesn't have to be um uh, to be uh, rhetorically uh, written or said to someone in six steps what are they, they are supposed to do is to use this kind of air uh, of pens it has a tube here inside and when we uh, when we dip the tube into the ink and the press hard uh, what happens is that uh, the, the ink is absorbed up the tube and then leave it and uh, wind it again into the pen and that's all Okay, so what is the meaning of clockwise and counterclockwise? As you can see that the clockwise means like this. Okay, moving like this and counterclockwise moving the other side. Okay. When I hold the telly, when I told the telly that six steps seemed a lot to have to do before you begin, begin writing. She said, you must think of those six steps, not as preparation for the beginning, but at the beginning itself. So she thinks that this is something very important. While for, some, for people like us who, are, who used to do things fast, very faster than she's talking about, this seems a waste of time. I practice my calligraphy, his handwriting. I practiced all 26 letters of the alphabet, including X, which was not part of any of the who, what, where, and where's, uh, or any of the addresses, but it was a very good letter to practice because fact, it is not easy. Okay, so uh, he's saying here I was, I practiced the handwriting that she that Telly wanted me to practice and even I, I practiced all the letters even the X though it wasn't on anybody's name or any address or any any information that I would write on the invitation cards when Telly decided that I was good enough to help with the invitations I sat on the floor of her living room and used her coffee table as my desk she sat at the kitchen table fact Many of the domiciles in Century Village do not have family rooms with desks. Okay, so domiciles means uh, country, people who live in a country. There was a lot of writing to do because at the bottom of each and every one of those invitations we wrote. Thank you so much. Let's continue reading in our virtual classroom. See you.